with you, boy. Real, wasn't real with you, boy. You won't give me too much chances. I don't care if I am fancy brighter. Yeah, yeah. Hi guys, what's up? Again, if this is your first time here, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Please make sure you watch all my previous videos. Please help me share. I'm trying to reach 50,000. That's what I'm going to say. How are you guys doing? So as usual, it is late in the night. Your girl went out all day, just got back home, and um, this was the outfit. You know, I'm going to put up a picture and some Google, and um, yeah, anyway, I decided to shoot a quick video. And this video, I don't even know what I'm going to call it. I hope it shall not be sweet and short. Um, people keep hearing the soft life, the soft life, the soft life, and people have said the soft life is luxury, it's just relaxing. It's being taken care of you know and some people say the soft life is just um, mentally distressing so there are different versions of the soft life but anyways I decided to go and live the soft life um, when I was turning 35 I have never really done anything grand for myself I think the most I've done was my 13th birthday and I spent quite an amount of money um, I mean, me being alive is just a testimony. If you've not seen my journey to 35, um, I will put it at the end credit. You should watch it. Um, but anyways, to just get a better view. But when I was turning this particular 35, I said I wanted to travel out of the country. I knew I was only going to be out of the country. I wanted to go somewhere with just friends and just relax and my family. Um, somehow that didn't happen due to COVID restrictions again. And just my mom just suggesting that everybody just be safe. And so I thought about what can I do for my 35th? I was like, you know, I'm going to buy myself something really expensive because I've saved this money to go for this trip. And if I'm not using it, I might as well just buy myself something nice. Now, if you know the people I've grown up around, then you know, um, luxury has never been far from me. <laughs> I just, I'm not one who chooses to splurge. Um, I don't mind, you know, carrying, uh, my mom says this thing about, you know, it's better to have quality stuff than to just have quantity stuff. So my mom is that 100% she'll tell you, if you like this shoe, buy this shoe. Even if it's expensive, as long as it's quality, you know that you can use it. As opposed to buying 10 different shoes in two months, all of them will be spoiling. Anyways, that's my excuse as to why. So I carried this money that I've been saving since to go and enjoy myself and decided to give myself a soft life. Um, I think for the first time ever, I invested in, and this is an investment, so that's why I'm using the word. In a really um, rather expensive bag, it's not the most expensive in the world. But um, if anybody had told me two years ago that I'd lose my own money myself, now it's not my first designer bag, but it's my first designer bag that I'm buying for myself, myself, myself. Maybe say the court, 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 John, 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 John people gift me. Say that me carry all my money, put and say I'm gonna buy a bag. That's this bag right here. So I remember when I said I was going to buy a bag, and I said I wanted a salon. <laughs> and I told my sister, we started to search for what kind of bag. I would look at bags, I would send it to Shabby with the salon, why do you want this, why do you want that? Long and short, we went back and forth, back and forth, and there was, part, there was one in particular I eventually saw, and I thought, you know, yeah, this is the bag. So I shared it with my sister and my sister-in-law, and I was like, you know what, you guys are going to go with me to get this bag. So we get in the car, we drive all the way, it's like 45 minutes to get to the mall, this particular mall that had the St. Laurent store in North Carolina. And we get there and I'm like, okay, I'm ready. I'm like, okay, this is the bag that I want to get. And the lady's like, okay, this bag is not bad at all. But um, we spent our, like at least 40 minutes, I'm not even going to joke, myself and me and Titi, from looking at slippers, looking at bag, we're going back and forth. And I just said, you know what, do you have something that is not on display? And the lady goes, yes, I do. Um, but what's your budget? I'm like, ah, this is what my budget is, or but anything if you have away, if it's cheap, like I just, I get extra, but I don't want to spend that, but I get extra. She now goes, okay, you know what, she's going to go to the back and she'll come back. So she goes to the back and she brings this bag. First of all, the color, I'm like, this is too loud, this is not me. And then my sister, I know my sister, like, what, she wants to buy black again, I'm going to be coming down, Jerry. 
So I look at the bag and I carry the bag around for like a second. I'm like, yeah, this is it. So this is me. This is the bag. First of all, I'm taking, I mean, I don't rock up, so maybe like, see, you get me. This is what the bag looks like. It's a Saint Laurent sunset. But I mean, I guess it's a different type of sunset, whatever. This is it. This is it. There's like a back flap. You open it up. There's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. There's an inner lining here. Everything comes with the authentication card. Guys, I'm coming. Look, I just go through all this. Spirit. This is the strap. This is the handle. Um, what else do I have here? <laughs> I got my receipt. <laughs> And I got the tag of the bag, okay? All right, cool. So I ain't gonna tell you guys how much it was just because I'm not trying to do too much. Um, I don't want people out here thinking mine is out here flossing. <laughs> but um, it was pricey, but it wasn't ridiculous. And like I said, I've been saving for it. So I got it. Now, it's not that I got it. It's, I remember when I told my mom I was getting it, she's like, yeah, the money that you miss are using to buy land. I said, excuse me, please, thanks so much. I walk out and tell you fire, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil myself. Now I buy this bag and I can tell you how many times I've carried it. And so my question to all of you, not necessarily to me, is, is there a point to buying expensive bags? I think there is. I remember the joy I felt just knowing that I could buy it. But I also want people to understand that you should never ever feel tensioned by people of the world. And I say this to my full chest. I've never been one to do things because people are doing it. If I want to do something, I go close I do. I'm just simply because I want to. But I believe in pacing yourself. I believe there's a time and there's a place for everything. I think there are seasons for things as well. Um, that being said, nobody's going to tell you how to spend your money or to spend another man's money. And the reason why I say that is because, and I ain't judging nobody. If he buying you all these bags, that's his business. That's his money and that's your business too. But I'm just trying to say, you don't know how people go around getting the things that they have. Especially the nice, shiny, flashy things. So don't ever feel the need to compete. Remember to stay in your own lane. The soft life, like I said, is a bunch of different things. But you choose what soft is for you. Right now, soft for me is peace of mind. It's not being stressed out. It's having the luxury to be able to say I want to go to the simple places, like Seca Lagos, to go and eat my favorite oxtail wild rice and planting on the side and look at the bill and be like hey, I don't die Jerry once a month you know what I mean it's 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 just being able to afford unlimited internet it's being able to once in a while say I'm going to go and wax my entire body I'm going to thread my brows I'm going to have a facial I'm going to get a spa that's what the soft life is. So you dictate what the soft life is. For every once in a while, it's important to treat yourself. I don't do it often enough, and I needed to do this to just be able to say, you know what, bimbo, did you die? So, yeah, that's pretty much what this video is about. Shut and sleep, and to show you guys that I look cute today, period. And this makeup could not be too much. So please, guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.